Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. We've now got box four of the IXO Collections release of Build the Porsche 917KH. Now if you've been following along with this, we've been building the engine and we're going to be pretty much doing that in the whole of box four. And this is probably the most detailed engine build I've done of any vehicle I've done uh, up to now. You're going to see that when I show you the engine now. This is what we worked on in the last pack. <laughs> Looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? And that's it from the underside as well. We're gonna be adding some stuff to that. And in the last issue, I called it the compressor, then I called it the fuel pump. And then I've been told this is a fuel injection system that we've been working on here, all to do with the left cylinder head. Now we're gonna be doing the left cylinder head first. But if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down the bottom to the IXO Collections website. You can get this all the way from pack one. Now, I do believe it's worldwide, but if you are unsure, just get in touch with IXO Collections and they'll be able to advise you accordingly. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So as you can see in stage 13, we've got some spark plugs. We've got the left cylinder head and we're going to be mounting the pulleys to it and putting all this together. So at the end of it, we are going to have this section complete, ready to go on the main engine block. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating another pulley, uh, which is going to go on the end of that block. And to do that, we're going to take this section looking like that, the base of the pulley there. Then we're going to be putting the top of the pulley, which looks like that this way around. As you see, when they're together, it makes a pulley. But we do need to hold that together. We're going to do that with DP screws. Now I've got that here, and as you can see, it's got a flange on it, so that's going to keep all of that together. So screw that in. And get it nice and tight so that's sealed. And there we go. That's one of the pulleys made. Now we bring over the injection system that we worked on in the last pack and this is just going to be going onto this side here so making sure that the flat side here is facing upwards this is just going to go over that point there it's going to be held in with an ap screw got one of those here so i'll put that gently in and then make that nice and tight as well and now the pulley is attached to that cylinder head we can put this whole unit now to one side and we're going to be bringing over the next part of the cylinder looking like that and once again in all of these holes in the center there we're going to be putting spark plugs now the spark plugs do come on a sprue so i've got to cut all of these off and i am going to use my brand new ixo collections sprue cutters that came in the last pack for that so i'll get these all off and i'll show you where these go when you put these in, it's probably going to be a bit better to actually use magnifying glasses. You can ensure you're putting the right end of the spark plug in. And basically it's the shorter end that's going to be going into these holes just in the middle here. Now there's 12 holes to put these in. And you're probably going to have a lot better luck using tweezers for this. So I'll get one in, show you what it looks like. Just like that. And we're going to repeat that for the other 12. And there we go. That's all 12 of those in there. We're then going to take this cover here, which is going to be going on the top section here, which is basically the opposite side to where these open. So where these open at the bottom, this is going to be going on the top just like this. And we need to make sure it's on the right way. And for that is the wrong way there. I need to turn it around so that the, this tab here is this side of the engine again facing that way now this is going to be held in with screws and they are EP screws so one in here excellent and then just one on the other side and then if we turn it round, we need to put the other side in which is the one that we've made with the injectors and the pulley and just to locate that again, where the longer end of this open section is, it will be the side that the injectors go in. So this will be going in this way. 
just like that. Once again, held in with the same EP screws. That's the first one. And that's the second one there. So, with this section here, and we do have two plates that we don't do anything with in this stage, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we're going to be continuing what we've done on the engine. We're going to be building onto that section now, which means we're going to be putting a belt on the pulley. We're going to be putting a brace over the top of those sections we've just done here, putting some more cylinders in there, putting the parts that we've just had from the last stage in. Quite a hefty stage this one is. So at the end of it, the engine is looking pretty impressive, just like that. Now I'm opening part 14 up here, and look, we've got a, uh, a screwdriver for the use of in here. So if you are struggling with your screwdriver, they've provided another one for us, which is excellent. I'll still be using my original ones though. So I've bought over the engine that we've been working on previously. And the first thing you want to do is just put the shield for the airflow in, which looks like that. That's just going to go onto this top section here. Now we have got four lugs down the bottom. So we just need to line them up. Just like that. And then push that into place. There we go. We are also going to want to put a belt just over the pulleys at this side here and here. And this is basically the smaller of the two pulley belts that they've gave us. As you can see, we've got one large, one small. It's the smaller one that we need. So again, when we put these on, we want to make sure that they go on without a twist in them. So it looks like that. Now this massive section here is the top of the cooling chamber here and that's going to surround everything that we've just put in there. Now you see we've got a hole in this corner that needs to go over this side here. So when we put this in, it's going to fit in just like that. And we're going to be holding this in with IM screws. It's going to take four of these screws. So that's one, one over this side. That's two, one here is three, and finally just one on the other corner over here. And that's number four. Now we've got these tiny supports here, which are gonna go on top of the manifold sections that we can see here. Now on this side, We've got two, as you can see, so we're gonna be putting two in place. And these just push down into the holes, just like that. So we've got one and two, just to hold that into place. And then we've got these distributor bases, which we had from stage 10, I believe it was. And these are just gonna go into the sections here and here. Now they have got a semicircular lug. So again, it's just a push in, but you do wanna make sure that it fits flat in there. So that's the first one, and the second one's going over this side. And that's both of those in. And then for all the rest of them here, we're gonna do exactly what we've done for the two sides here. And we're just gonna push these into place. So that's one, two, Three. They go in quite easily. Four. Five. Oops. And six. So now they're all held up. We've got four that we need to keep safe just to one side. Now we've got the four cylinders here that we've had from the previous stage. One, two, three, four. And what we're gonna be doing is putting the four that we had left over, these tops here, just to put them pre-installed into place. So we're just gonna push these onto the ends here. Two, number three, and finally, number four, just like that. 
and then quite simply all we're going to do is we're going to match these up with the four positions here by pushing these all the way through so that's one number two I'll put that back on in a second number three and number four there this just goes on here leaving that that way round I'm going to push that to one side because we're going to be bringing over this side of the cylinder with the injectors on top and we're just going to be pushing in these sides here just into the holes on the edge Now they can only go in one way and you want to make sure that the details are facing outwards so here's the first one and then this whole unit is going to be pieced together because the lugs on these sides are going to go into the holes that we've got matching on the other sides there so line it up both sides and get this all the way in so that's looking like that from the top and that from that side there and then we're holding that together with IM screws just down to the two holes that we've got at the top there so here's the first one excellent and here's the second one And there we go they're all in place so it looks like that from the top and that from the bottom amazing absolutely amazing now on the pulleys on this side here we're going to be putting the larger of the belts so just put that over there and that side again making sure it's not twisted so that's on like that and then the last thing to do is these pipes on this side just connect them down into these tabs so we'll have one going into this tab here and the same one just going onto this section like that so now those pipes are in place like that and that's all there is to do in that stage more details in the engine here a lot more detail work that's going to go on top of the sections that we just put in so by the end of it as you can see there's a lot of yellow on this engine now it's going to be looking just like that so the first thing we're going to do is taking this piece here with this tab pointing upwards I'm just going to lie that down there and we've got these yellow supports just to push into the lugs that we've got there and you do that all the way along so now they look like that we turn it upside down and we've got a couple of brake brackets here or ends to put on and they just holes here that are just going to go over the lugs that you can see at the end so one this side push that down and one on the other side here so now they're both in like that we want to shield all this together so we have got the uh, brace here which is going to go on to the other side and we want the open section of this to be nearest to the tab there so it's going to go on this way like this that's going to hold everything into place but we are going to be using three CP screws to keep that down so I'll put one in the middle first just here that will hold all of that together and then just one at each end number two and finally number three now we're going to be adding this to the engine so what we're going to do bring the engine over and with the tab side facing furthest away from the injectors there on the outside this will be going on top just like that but it's going to be held into place by these here looking like that and the side with the hole on we want to be facing towards the outside of the engine so when I put these in I'm just going to put it in like that as you can see they are going to be pointing you can't rotate them while they're in there because they're not fixed all they're doing is fixing this plate in at the moment we're going to be holding that into place with ap screws and they're going to be screwed in from the underside of this so i'm just going to hold that in turn it over and the screw is actually going to be through the base section there so it's going to be a little bit tricky 
but I have got that screw to bite onto that. I've tightened it up, but I do want to make sure that said that that hole is facing the outside there. We're going to continue that with two more here. We're not putting them all in, in this stage. And that's what they look like there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So the final stage is pretty much a mirror of what we've just done. We're going to be putting uh, the rest of them in by the look of it. Uh, <laughs> exactly the same thing to be honest with you. So basically we're going to have nine of these in. They're still free to put in by the look of it by the end. So it should be a dab hand at this now. Once again we're just going to be putting these yellow supports in. Six of those. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. So then we just got to put the ends in again. So they just clip over the lugs, one this side, and one this side over here. We're going to be closing all of that together with this section here, making sure it follows the same outline as the piece below it. And then once again, holding that together with CP screws. Three of those. So that's the first one. That's the second. And finally, just the one at the top there. That's the third one. That's all looking good. Bring the engine back over again. And you'll see we've got this small silver detail looking like this. Now that's going to go into the hole that we've got on this side and then into the back of the alternator here. So we've got one going in here and the other side just going into the back of this section. So I've got that one in there and that one in there. So when it's in, it should look just like that. And then this time when we put this on, with this tab here, where it was on the outside before, it's going to be on the inside of this section. So this is going to go on just like that here. And exactly like last time, we're going to be putting these trumpets in. But the dot that I said was on the outside in the last stage is now going to be facing the same way towards the inside. And we're going to be putting all of these in. And there you go. They're all in and they all look like that. We do have three left over, which we don't use in this stage. But that is the end of box four. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Check that out on this camera. Whoa. I love the colours as well, but it's a big old engine this one, but there you go, that's the end of that pack, but I've got a big smile on my face, I love this, I love the detail, it's amazing, if you want to get this for yourself, once again I've put the link down the bottom here to the IXO Collections website and you can get this all the way from pack one. Now all the instructions are in French and I'm hoping that we've now got subtitles on the screen so you can hear what I'm saying and then change it to the language if you need to with the subtitles that are on the bottom there. Uh, and I've done it in a few countries. If your country's not listed let me know and I'll try and get that added. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe. Other than that take care.